to EDN 205 Teaching ICT in the Classroom. I'm Casey Easton and the following presentation identifies some of the latest trends and issues concerning the implementation of ICT in a high school physical education classroom. This presentation targets mostly Year 7 and 8 students but also looks at the generalised high school environment. The purpose of this assignment is to find out how other teachers in our area of teaching are implementing ICT in their classrooms. For this assignment, we were asked to research some of the latest trends and issues for using ICT in my area of teaching, which is high school physical education, select one of each of the following resources to research my topic, a scholarly article, website, audio podcast and video clip, and then finally write a report summarising research findings and create a five-minute video presentation highlighting the key points identified in my report. Firstly, I found a scholarly article on the use of interactive whiteboards in physical education classrooms. This article identifies why and how they should be implemented by providing case studies showing how it is, how it is being done. Some of the advantages for implementing the interactive whiteboard into a physical education classroom are that set plays and skills can be easily drawn onto the board to provide a demonstration, lessons can be prepared ahead of time and stored for revision purposes, and that multiple forms of media can be integrated into the one lesson. Some disadvantages include the cost of the equipment, that the screen can be easily damaged, and, the kinest and that kinesthetic learners are disadvantaged. The next trend in technology is the implementation of websites in PE classrooms. The website in this presentation is a multicultural games website set up using a wiki platform. It enables worldwide collaboration between students and teachers. A goal of the website is to enable students to gain greater understanding and appreciation of various cultures around the world. Some of the advantages of a wiki structured website are that it is easily accessible, anyone can become an author and contribute to the site and it is instantaneous so there is no waiting for a publisher to update information. Some of the advantages, however, can also become disadvantages. With its easy access, it becomes vulnerable to spamming and vandalism. It is restricted only for those with internet access. And finally, if students are constantly on the web, there is less time for actual physical activity. The next forms of technologies were discovered on a podcast interview of a young IT and PE teacher teaching in rural Victoria. He discusses how Nintendos, MP3s, mobile phones, social networking sites and blogs can be implemented into PE classrooms. Some of the advantages of implementing these forms of ICT are that it reduces school cost of purchasing equipment if students provide their own, for example mobile phones. It encourages authentic learning of real life situations. It is a student-centred approach to learning where students are responsible for their own learning. He also found that by implementing these technologies into his class, students were more engaged. Some of the disadvantages, however, are that there is a lack of access for some students due to a school and government policies, and that the technologies, if not monitored properly, can become a distraction in class. The last technology involves the use of video recording devices for video feedback. The technology was found on a YouTube clip where a teacher from the United States demonstrates how he uses video technology to enhance learning in PE. He combines both computer and video technology. The advantages of using video feedback in physical education include clear images of performance and techniques can be viewed quickly and efficiently. It promotes a discussion-based review between student and teacher. Students become more involved in self-assessment and there is an increased motivation by low ability learners. Some disadvantages, however, include the cost of equipment, resulting often in cheaper alternatives, which can minimise impact on the learner, and also the issues concerning child protection in regards to the storing and distribution of images and data storage. Throughout my research, I discovered many common advantages supporting the inclusion of ICTs in the classroom. These include the increased motivation of students, the technologies are relevant to today's society, many are easy to use and efficient for time management, and most importantly, are advantageous in improving student learning. Some issues to be aware of are the cost with purchasing and repairing the technologies, the lack of access to some students, mainly due to school and government policies and child protection concerns. 
this presentation has helped you gain a greater understanding of the various forms of ICTs being implemented throughout PE classrooms around the world. For a more detailed report, please go to www.ictinphyzed.weebly.com. Thank you.